This goes so fast, I felt like this was just a couple of seconds. Whew, really, really quick. Um, so let's dive in and discuss what this is about. Um, we have a bunch of interesting things happening. First of all, you have a very big contrast, he writes, between forte and piano, each measure, forte, piano, forte, piano. It's like hurry up and stop, hurry up and stop. It's very different, it's a very weird feeling um, that you have to constantly go through as you play in this, uh, this little variation, basically from the very first note until the very last note. Uh, it doesn't really change much. So that you be careful with that. Also accents, it puts those accents on 16th notes, which you really must do. And uh, of course, you're, you're constantly changing between the um, on the string detaché and off the string spiccato in the middle of the bow. So that's not easy, that's tricky and requires certain preparation, it requires certain coordination. So we must be careful here. Um, one of the things to kind of keep in mind is you need to try and keep the bow um, really straight and keeping it uh, intact, making sure it doesn't really change. Also, when you play in the up bow or down bow, spiccato, those must be as perfect as you can possibly produce. So that's really important to try and keep them keep them exactly the same. So if a person was listening to the recording and not watching you play, they shouldn't be able to tell the difference between down bow and up bow. So let's just keep that in mind. It's, it's really helpful to think of this as I oft, often uh, mention in sections, section A, section B, and section C, and try to practice those sections separately. And that should yield some good results for you. So. So that would be the first section. And during this section, you're dealing with picking up the bow in the air, you're, um, you're dealing with off the string playing, which requires certain changes in the right arm. So you have to be aware of what parts of, uh, of your wrist and fingers are responsible for, for that and really be very attuned to, to what is happening. Also try to keep the shoulder, your right shoulder, uh, low. Make sure it doesn't elevate. It should be a very normal standard shoulder position without anything extraordinary happening. And yeah, so this is uh, basically it. So try to have fun playing this and learning this uh, little variation. Like I said, it goes, it goes by really fast. Before you know it, you're playing the final chord. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I invite you to visit my website where you can find more information about the lessons I teach online. Thanks for watching.